hot. Hello. So it is this. This is the start of my. Can you guys see me? This is the start of my birthday trip maintenance vlog. Um, I do have a shirt on. So today I was supposed to have my lash appointment. I'm supposed to be getting my lashes done right now, but I got hay booed. Um, so I've been rescheduled to Saturday morning. So it's Thursday. So we have three days. I'm leaving on Sunday morning. Look at my lashes, but it's all good. It's all good. Do for Phelps. All good. Um, so after that, I was had my I have wax appointment for two o'clock, and then I was going to go to Target after because I did a pickup order. The pickup order, and um, the glare. But yeah, so I have a pickup order for um Target, so I'm gonna actually go get that first. And then I'm getting my hair done tomorrow. Lord knows when I'm getting my nails done. I just made my hair appointment literally yesterday because I procrastinated for so long. But ironically enough, I booked my wax and my lash appointment the beginning of July. I guess the end of July. Crazy, right? Um, and then, like, pretty much everything that I'm picking for my trip is brand new. So there's going to be a bunch of hauls in this video. So, OOTD, I'm probably going to change it. I'm, nah, I'm gonna keep it. But yeah, just this tube top, these black like H&M shorts. Um, I just got um, from Amazon some new camera batteries and a charger. Um, if you guys know, I have a Sony ZV-1. It's almost coming up on a year that I've had it. And I need to do an update on it because the battery life is terrible. And pretty much if you don't turn this camera on and off at least once a week or whatever the case is, it's gonna die. It's so exhausting. I always like think, oh, I'm going to record a video today using my camera. That's how I've been recording on my phone. I always think I'm about to record me a little vloggy vlog on my Sony ZV-1, this expensive camera. And it doesn't work. So I just bought those in bulk. But, yeah, I'm about to head out. But first, I want to show you guys all of my swims. All of my swimsuits are from Mac Collection. I ordered these at, like, the end of june they did a sale um and everything was ten dollars i already knew that i wanted all of my swimsuits from matt collection because they i just always see them advertised and i really wanted a piece so all of them different colors solid colors and for my trip i basically went with like a um there's only four i thought i ordered five let me see i probably did only order four the um but basically for my trip, I want to do um, like a color theme. So whatever color swimsuit I wear is going to be like my outfit for the night because I ordered my swimsuits from, I ordered my swimsuits from Matt Collection and then I did this huge pretty little thing order, which I was supposed to do um, a haul, but I just like pretty much haven't gotten to it because this week has been like so busy and like a mess and then all this stuff has been like going on like differently yeah i only ordered four okay for some reason i thought i ordered five but we'll start with the white one and they're so cute because they come with like three piece sets so it's this white bikini this triangle top triangle bottom super basic but um it comes with this top it's like a turtleneck like a mesh cover up and it's a turtleneck it's so cute um, next is this brown one everything is a size small I don't like to I don't like to play around with the extra small when it comes to swimsuits this does look kind of big like the boob cups but I don't want to play around with the extra small like it's very hit or miss and everyone's different extra small is different but I feel like a small always hits for um a swimsuit we'll see about this one but this is brown it's so cute it's gonna look so beautiful on my skin especially once I'm tanned I just love the color brown on me especially like when you swim I think that everybody needs a neutral but especially for us brown skin girls we eat especially like it just looks it just looks good and I love these little bags I always try to keep them so like Say I'm going on like a little day trip or something like that and I need to pack my swimsuit. It's going right in one of these bags. It's also easy for transporting, um, you know, like liquids and stuff while traveling. Like always just like a backup. And it's easier to pack with them. But so this is a small as well, triangle, triangle bikini top. 
and it is pink look at these super tiny lines like I love me a teeny teeny like for real and then it comes with this cover up hot pink I'll probably wear this one on my birthday my actual birthday and it is a dress so freaking cute like uh, and it has like the drawstring at the bottom so you can cinch it up as much as you want I love that these all came together like the whole shebang bang for ten dollars like look at their site like I also sign up for their text so I frequently get texts like oh we're having a sale and the sales are all pretty good and like you're getting so much so this is a one piece look at this contraption I love one pieces like this like my favorite <laughs> swimsuit one of my other favorite swimsuits is literally like this but this is like a orangish yellow um it's giving orange right now but yeah it's so pretty I love how gold looks on my skin especially tan in the summer I can't wait to put this on the tan lines are gonna be crazy so I'm gonna have to wear this at like the beginning of my trip and then even it out with one of the teeny keenings toward the end and this is the cover-up that goes with it it is just like a mesh jacket and you could like literally repurpose this for anything but this is perfect when it's getting too hot the sun is burning your skin just throw this on on top of your swimsuit it goes together so cute I cannot wait to wear this I was trying to get an air tag and they only have four packs and I don't need four so I just ordered one on Amazon like I should have been done I don't know why I didn't look on Amazon but I just did Look at the backpack section and bags and Target. It's so cute. I do have a quick up order to get. Oh, look at these. It's so cute, but I have no use for it. I don't need a bouquet. Okay, this is the order pickup line. I'm kind of just waiting around for my Sephora order to be ready. Um, I just made it while I was on the train. So, yeah, I'm waiting for them to text me. Oh, I'm done. Oh no, it's gonna rain today and I didn't get it on I got my package. They gave me this huge bag. I was gonna walk over to my walk appointment. It's only 20 minutes away, but it's about to rain. So if I like can't find an umbrella, if I didn't want to buy that Target one, oh, it's about to pour. Um, I'll probably catch an Uber. But look, I'm right at Barclay Center. So pretty. This is really pouring. That's crazy. I'm probably gonna go right back in Target. I saw this on my walk. This is so cute. It's all pink inside. Maybe I'll try this next time instead of black. So I can better than that. that was literally so easy and like painless. I'm used to getting waxed anyway. I've just never been. There. Oh, I should get Chipotle. I think I'm gonna get Chipotle. It's right here. But um, so 50% off because it was my first time going there. They have an outage of chicken, steak, fajitas, and chips. Like they're literally not selling any Chipotle. But <laughs> so I'm not getting Chipotle. But yeah, it was so easy. So yeah, when you go, tell them that you know me so that I can get money off, and you go to them. It's so nice out. Although it's about to have four. Hopefully it rains after I get it. I got the raspberries, hagen smoothie. I think it was real sour. And he's like, um, yeah. You know, I want to try it. I was like, no, I want to try it. It's not sour at all. I think he just wanted me to bite it. I mean, I'm going to bite it anyway, but it's not sour. But it is good. I also want to share what I got from Target. A little target haul 
everything is pretty much Target brand, not gonna lie, just some little things that I needed to re-up on to bring on my trip. I got this Neutrogena hydrating I got this Neutrogena hydrating water gel, hyaluronic acid. This is a dupe of the um I'm like Neutrogena. This is up and up brand, but this is a dupe of the Target one. This was only about $13 and the Target and the original Neutrogena is about $22. Um, this benzoyl peroxide gel, perfect for acne, body, it's really strong. So when I first started using benzoyl um, peroxide, I was only using it for like body acne, to prevent body acne. Um, I wasn't using it on my face, but I am going to try it because like lately my forehead has been like on and off breaking out. I've got this because my skin gets so dry lately in the sun so I have to like double up I'm even bringing a couple of face masks cuz I can't I can't um I even got the Neutrogena Hydro Boost like the travel size so I'll be using this in the mornings before heading out into the sun I re had to re-up on my probiotics um this time I got store brand I usually get renew life the renew life is about 28 for 30 and this was 16 for 30 so and it's literally the same same formula and everything it's just target brand um I get lysine which is good for inflammation this lasts so long it has 200 tablets and you're supposed to take two a day but I needed to make sure I had my supplements before going on vacation because that's how a lot of people fall off they don't keep up with their supplements but I got me a trap like while they're on vacation they don't keep up their diet and then when they come back they're like all over the place but nah I'm keeping up with it I like routinely use like um a day by day categorize category thing for my supplements so I'm gonna bring that with me and D3 also target brand vitamin D a lot of black women are vitamin D deficient and also being vitamin D being vitamin D deficient is so bad for you so many things can go wrong so I had to make sure that I had me some vitamin D and I also got me a new pajama set I haven't gotten a new one in a while regular cotton gray extra small stars brand it's gonna be super comfy um, on my trip, I'm gonna have to like wash these. I love the smell of fresh pajamas, but it's gonna be so nice sleeping in the hotel bed with these fresh, soft pajamas. These pajamas are the best, the best brand pajamas. Like, I have a million pairs of these pajamas, so yeah, that's what I got from Target. Um, the thing, um, the thing that I got from Sephora was not for me. This is for my cousin for her birthday. Her birthday was Tuesday. I'm seeing her Saturday. It's the Laneige Water Bank. I've seen Laneige at her house, so I was like, oh, let me get this for her. Um, this is new, so I maybe she hasn't, maybe she doesn't. Hopefully she doesn't. And yeah, I hope she loves it. I also got a pair of cute sunglasses I love Shein sunglasses love I love sunglasses in general but like if you're looking for something and it's out of your price range they have a dupe for it look at this vintage Christian Dior right here Y2K baddie alien looking baddie right here and this is like a neutral, but I'm definitely wearing it with the brown vibe outfit. I look crazy, but I'm about to go get my hair braided. I decided last minute what hairstyle I wanted. Like, I literally have been looking since Monday. I ended up just settling on the braiding shop around the corner. I've gone to them maybe two or three times before, so I know they're going to do a good job and it's going to be quick. So it's really nothing that I'm like stressed about. Like, I know it's going to come out cute. I'm just getting small lot knotless with some color, a little bit of blonde, but yeah, I'm not going to bring you guys with me. It's like nothing spectacular to see, but I really like 
was washing my hair earlier and I was like, I need to take better care of it. So that's the journey we're going to be on for the rest of 2022. So hopefully you guys are on that journey with me. Of uh, my travel essentials, I'm about to pack this Marc Jacobs bag, which I bring everywhere with me. Um, when I travel, I love this bag, perfect travel bag, and it zips and it's sturdy, keeps everything contained, a place for my money, um, perfect. Um, my passport and my vaccine card are both in here. I found some euros cleaning out some old purses, and I'll be on a European island, so I figured I'll bring these and spend these. These are like four or five years old, four years old. Um, this white Telfar, perfect, goes with everything, so spacious, also an amazing travel bag. Um, my Polaroid, which I love, and this Kanikalon bag. Um, today, last minute, I realized that I did not have any bags that I could secure um, completely. This zips, and it also has a strap, so that's going to be perfect for travel. I realized I didn't have a bag that would secure my things during this one specific excursion I want to do. really doesn't go with much but it's all I have I tried to order a pink one go pick it up or see if I could rush it and it wasn't gonna come in time since it is Friday so that sucked but it is a cute bag and I haven't worn it in a while this was my go-to bag in 2020 um I have my lash 3d lash sleep mask all of my makeup essentials are in here um, I have some contacts because I do like to be able to see when I travel um, hand sanitizer, of course, my very own lash bath, my regular everyday eye cream, face washes, my benzoyl peroxide gel, which I showed you guys earlier for breakouts, my spritz, this is spray mousse, it is going to be perfect for my braids, my favorite lotion, my supplements, my sunglasses, my got to be travel size, my K skin, check out my review. Um, my Champagne Toast Body Wash, my Nivea Face Lotion, my Black Girl Sunscreen, um, this claw clip that I got from Shein, and my Hydrating Face Mask, Edge Brush, and my Fix Plus, and an exfoliator because this will keep my this will keep my tan, my body's tan, amazing. This is like my grab and go travel bag. I got it years ago. It literally has everything I kind of just as I run out of things I just replace them but I have like a razor um edge control tweezer toothbrush I always change my toothbrush every time I travel somewhere in there and I also have Benadryl for my allergies just in case so I literally have everything I just grab this and go and replace everything that needs to be placed also bringing my Tom Ford so Leo Blanc body shimmer which I love. Oh my gosh. I showed this in my Sephora haul. I've been wearing this like nonstop. I need to unpack this box from ASOS. Raise your hand if you thought this was called ASOS all the time. And then earlier this year you found out it was called ASOS. Like how dare they? How dare they change the name? First is these semi London. Platform heels, they're white. This is what I'm gonna be wearing for my birthday. Next are these fancy stern, pink, chunky. Oh my goodness, these are bigger than I thought. Aren't they giving Lizzie McGuire? These are way bigger than I thought, but these are so cute. There were another pair that I wanted that were only $30, and I should have got them when I first saw them, and I didn't but these were 58 but I got them on sale of course and these are so cute I wish my toes were done so I could try them on for you but I'm not going to that I haven't got my toes done yet oh this is so cute I'm going to like save this and put this on my laptop adorable neither pair of shoes came in dust bags which sucks so I'm going to have to put them in something else but look at these they're gorgeous I'm such a platform girl so I'm going to be bringing these two, these plain black Fashion Nova like flip flops with the spikes. They give like Valentino dupe, but honestly, they're literally rubber. Also bringing these white pretty little thing quilted flip flops, also low key platform, but these came in um, dust bags, each of them. So that's perfect. Now, where in the suitcase we're gonna put them? 
let's find out as you can see everything just up in there and the other, the other things that are a little bit bigger are all in here everything is travel size so not and TSA approved um, my makeup is gonna come in my carry-on with me this is gonna come with my carry-on with me um, and this might as well I haven't decided yet but my this is my makeup and my makeup is expensive like you know what I mean absolutely not risking it these things are less expensive but convenient to have and like more convenient than putting it in a suitcase if you know what I mean um, like if you your suitcase your carry if your um, check bag gets lost you want to have these things to like freshen up and then these are kind of like a little bit up there but these aren't really necessities these are more wants things that I like you know what I mean so if these get lost so be it they're replaceable I mean everything is replaceable at the end of the day but yeah there's certain things you'd rather not have to replace now I'm gonna find a space for all this over here and yeah okay so I'm about to do this face mask it is the morning time I'm about to go get my lashes done Shijina Hydro Boost mask is two pieces I really need some hydration in my skin um, as you guys know, like once you get your lashes done, you really shouldn't put any product on your fresh lashes or get them wet the first 24 hours. So, so I'm trying to do everything to make sure my skin is quenched. I'm also going to a pool party later today. So I can't get my lashes wet, which is super duper annoying because they're going to be fresh. But I want to make sure that my skin is super hydrated since the next time that I'm going to be able to wash my face, I'll be on my trip as you can see my braids are done i'm gonna give you guys like a story time about my braids when i get this off my face but i'm gonna let this sit for 15 minutes i have to do like some little stuff before i can get ready to before i really leave the house so i'll see you guys when this is off my face and i do my skincare and i'll be dressed and ready anyway you guys can see so my skin is clean it's clear it cleared up like up here um but yeah, so they did my braids last night. My appointment was for 5. Um, they started my hair around 6. I just asked for like some like small-ish knotless braids. I didn't want them too big. And okay, so originally I wanted to have blonde in the back. And then like this color with the ombre and the blonde like mixed in at the top. But when I first asked for that, they were like, oh, if I add that like basically it wasn't going to work. Or whatever, right? so she started doing my braids i was like okay i'll do all blonde i saw this blonde she only did two and i started panicking and then like i was like the whole time like i don't know but then i just finally looked over and then i saw that they had this color hanging on the wall so i was like um can i get that and originally originally when i called the place they said it was 190 so i was prepared to pay 190 plus tip all right then when i finished they were like okay like this is gonna be 180 and i was like okay and then they were like but it's gonna be ten dollars more because i got these two braids it's literally two braids also she could have took i don't i really didn't care that much i usually take the back two braids out anyway so i was like okay but wait okay girl so i just gave her um i just gave her 190 because yeah the last time I went to them, I went to them when I went to Barbados a couple months ago when I had like the pink braids in the back. They charged me 160. My braids were a little bit bigger. But also this lady sat there and got all of her lemonade braids done. Now y'all know like it goes like this. And then there's like there was like three braids left at the top. And she was like, I don't like it. Can you guys can you take it out? Right? And they were like, Okay, well, can you pay us something? Blah blah blah. And she was like Oh, like you should it was just this whole big thing and then she went and called the police and I was like girl why are you calling the police like give them like 50% she ended up not paying anything but I was like just give them like 50% or just like leave and just I don't know she wanted like a lot like she was just doing a lot she was like she's supposed to offer me another hairstyle I was like but you picked the hairstyle you sat there you waited to the end that's what I was like kind of checking the whole time but like I'm so happy that I didn't get this color like all throughout I think I would have looked probably crazy but i really just wanted the back this color and the top i don't know why she told me that it wasn't gonna work i don't really care i like how these look they're good size i'm honestly gonna just pull them up 
um you guys can't really tell but like well you can they go like right to my butt they're not that long i don't need them long like i'm literally gonna pull them up all the time i also have them do them in a middle part i always get a middle part when i get braids although like i feel like i look funny at first but i always have them do it in the middle so if i do choose to wear in the middle at least my middle part is gonna be straight i know that like a lot of times when you get braids um i've even seen people when they start locks their middle part is messed up and they can never fix it i was like yeah middle parts are essential but i always pretty much just pull it to the side or pull it all the way back or do another style but yeah this is my hair i am a fan i didn't do anything to my baby hair so they just left them um but yeah now next is my lash appointment hopefully this is smooth i'm basically on a race against time today because my lash appointment is for eight it's about to be 7 30 right now so i'm gonna leave soon um and then i have to meet up with my cousin for 1 30 for her pool party so i'm literally gonna be like rushing i have to go get my nails done this morning was gonna be when i was gonna get my nails done but obviously my lash appointment like kind of is throwing me off but yeah i'm gonna get the exact same cat eye volume set so let's get to it i'm on my way she just texted me an ex if we're still on so i let her know i was on my way so hopefully i don't get canceled on again This is me getting my toes done as you can see my toes are like tiny and they're destroyed because i've been getting acrylic on my toes since like february um i try to take breaks but it's like every time they take the acrylic off my toe is ruined and yeah don't don't get acrylic do not get acrylic um but yes i just went with a short little gel polish i always get red for my birthday because july um, it's my birthday and red is my birthstone well ruby is my birthstone so I just wanted a fill um basically take off the black and then put the red there um yeah that's it I, I was on a crunch for time so I just needed something really simple and quick and I was in and out I'm on my way to the airport I'm setting up my air tag it looks so easy to do it says just hold it next to the phone <laughs> It says to just hold it next to the phone and turn on the fine lines. I'm doing that now. Trying to add it. Yeah, just put add air tag and it's literally connecting right now. So when I get to the airport, I'm gonna throw this in my suitcase. And then I realized that I should have probably got four, but I'm gonna take it out of my suitcase when I land and then like put it in my purse, whatever purse I carry for the day. Like just in case I like leave my purse or something like that, I'll always have like my location on. Pull tab on air tab. Um, yeah, I also just realized I left my charger at home, so I'm gonna have to get an airport charger. Anyway, but yesterday I had the longest day ever. Got my nose done. Got my nose done, got my toes done. My hair is done, my lashes are done. Um, my cousin's pool party was super fun, but I got home so late last night. But I got up, got up home at like one. I went to sleep immediately and I got up at four. Luckily I had like everything packed pretty much. But like this was not not easy especially because i didn't charge my phone or bring my charger like that's insane to me so my flight is boarding i just ate i ate this turkey cob wrap which was a thousand dollars i got that a water and a croissant and it was $20.98. Me and my mom were on the phone and we were like, how much is this gonna cost? She was about right, it was $21. My lashes like, I don't know, they're not giving right now. But my flight is boarding. I'm in group C because I guess um, I picked my seat. I checked in my flight too late. But yeah, I checked in my flight too late so I'm literally probably the last person getting on. 
but I made it through the airport. It was pretty quick. Everything went perfect. I got everything done like in time. So I'll give you guys like a quick sneak peek of everything once I land. But that's pretty much it for this video. Safe travels, everyone. XOXO. So I made it to my trip. You guys stuck it out with me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you check out the actual vlog of my trip um, and my pretty little thing haul that's going to come along with this. Um, but yeah, so I've got my braids done, my lashes. Um, my skin looks great due to, you know, the lift of the braids, but also the skincare that I did. Um, that's pretty much, oh, um, everything is all together. Um, my nails, my toes, everything. Perfect. So thank you guys for coming along with me. I was stressed a little bit, but, you know, I made it through. Also didn't walk too much of me stressing and trying to find a hairstylist last minute, but I got it done. That was the most conflicting part of it, but everything else was good. Um, I'm super excited for my trip. Um, if you guys want more maintenance vlogs, like once a month, what I do to just keep myself together on a regular, let me know down below in the comments and let me know what your favorite beauty and let me know what your favorite, let me know what your favorite part of your beauty routine is. Me personally, I love getting my nails done after a long, stressful day, especially when I look down on my nails and they look eh. I just gotta go get them done, especially if my day was bad. And then every time I look down on my nails, I'm like, wow, they're so pretty. It makes me happy. I like to be manicured, put together, things like that. But that's all for now. Thank you guys so much for sticking it out with me. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Also, check out Super Likes if you love my content and you want to donate a little bit, especially because this is for my birthday. If you want to just say happy birthday through Super Likes, feel free to down below. Completely up to you. That's all. I'll see you guys next time.